I'm still at it with her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here like, yes, two birds with one stone. I got both of my ops. They work at the same job. Yeah, so now every night we going down there. You for smart. Stop tagging me and having my friends. When I tell you I'm going in, y'all when I'm telling you I'm going in, that I'm going in on a Facebook. Like, cause don't you dare tag me and there's somebody 102 comments. And Cheers, the motherfucking tea. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Spill the tea, what the? Spill the tea, sis. Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you at? Yeah, I want to know all your business. All of it. The same reason why you clicked on this video and you want to know my business, I want to know your business. Where you from? Where you at? But anyway, by the title of this video, y'all already know what's going to be going on. Let's get straight into the story time. So, boom. This story time takes place. This was when I was living in the Bronx. This was around the time me and Troy, we was dating at the moment or whatever. And baby boy was still living across the hall, right? So, we gonna tap into that. If y'all watch the Baby Daddy series, then y'all know who baby boy is. The next door neighbor or whatever. When I had met baby boy or whatever, he had a friend named JD. Once I had became friends basically with baby boy, JD, he was like, uh, he was like the third whale. So, it was like, I might as well become friends with him too and JD was really cool like he used to date my cousin Joy and stuff like that to the point where JD started coming over to the house we were all three chill together we would have smoke sessions together we would party together everything was good with JD like JD was cool people you feel me like him and baby boy they was real tight so I noticed around the time that Troy and them started coming around, baby boy was moving with tree tree and stuff for Troy and his peoples. And they was basically all getting money together. Troy and about seven of his friends and they all would chill in baby boy house across the hall from where I live. So I noticed once Troy and them started chilling inside of baby boy's house, they would all act funny towards JD. You know what I'm saying? So now, JD, he will be the one left out. You know what I'm saying? They was basically treating him like the errand boy. Like, oh, go run and do this. Go run and do that. Oh, we need you to do this. Like, and they wasn't really putting him on with the money. But he didn't really feel that no type of way. Because he was like, okay, well, these are baby boy friends. These not my friends. But he used to tell me, like, yo, baby boy acting funny towards me now. That Troy and them around. And, you know, Troy, he was my man, my man, my man at the time. So, JD, when he came to me with the concern, it was basically because, you know, like, that Troy's your man. So, can you figure out what's really going on? So, I basically figured it out. I told, I act, I had asked Troy one day, I was like, yo, why, um, baby boy, and y'all be acting funny with JD when that was his only friend. When he was hungry, JD was bringing him food and money and all types of stuff. Like, JD was holding it down for baby boy when he didn't have. And it's like, as soon as y'all came around and started putting money in his pocket, he started acting funny towards JD. Troy was basically saying like, oh, niggas really don't mess with JD. Like, niggas don't really fuck with him. Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? I know, listen Ain't to me. Ain't that your friend? That happened or whatever, JD. Mind you, he's now, he's always coming to my house now because it's at this point, baby boy, he done changed the locks at his house and now JD can't even get in. He can't even go over there. He knocking on the door. They not let him in. They over there playing a the game. They ignoring him. Like, they used to do real funny stuff. So now JD, he starts chilling at my house, right? So me and JD, we cooled or whatever. Um, sometimes he would spend the night, but you know what, you know what's the crazy part of the thing that I don't like about JD? The fact that he barely had anywhere to go. But as soon as you let him spend the night, he bringing in the whole family that he just met online. What the fuck on? Oh yeah, that's my girl Keisha, and it's her three kids. You need to tell Keisha and her three kids to go elsewhere, because baby, you don't even got nowhere to go. So why are you picking our whole family, JD? Like, JD was crazy. JD basically was feeling some type of way, because he basically was Baby Boy's only friend when nobody was messing with him, and now Troy and them was in the picture, and Baby Boy was acting funny, he was switching up. So JD decides one day he's going to call a friend. So he had called the friend to come over or whatever. The friend had came over. I don't know what they was doing this day, but they were just in and out my house. Like, they was just in and out. They was going to the store. We had a couple smoke sessions or whatever. And then JD told me he was leaving for the night. It was over with, right? So JD, he, him and the friend, they leave. 
they go wherever they go they leave the building like they go home wherever home is because i don't know jd didn't have a home he used to go from pillow to post basically type shit right well he was staying with baby boy and said baby boy put him out so he could chill with troy and all of them they leave or whatever like an hour pass by or whatever like that troy baby boy all of them they start banging on my door mind you at this point me and baby boy we was not talking anymore like we had it's like he had static with me or whatever it's like ever since i i picked troy over him he was mad he was always in his feelings so me and him we was really like beefing he was really beefing with me like because i wasn't beefing with him he was tight or whatever and he was just basically like oh where's your d at where's your d i know you over here because you always got him over here and i'm like why are you going off like why are you going off he like i'm your with JD like that and you still do that's weird that look weird that look mad suspicious how do I look mad suspicious when Troy is my man like how that look suspicious that I'm still friends with J JD you introduced me to JD we all were friends we all were mad cool until Troy and them started coming around then you switched up on everybody and then when I picked Troy over you you really started switching up and started like he used to act like a bitch you know like baby boy he got on my nerve like he was not the same no more he was different so he comes to my door whatever he is mad as hell he's like oh, oh where's jd where's jd i'm gonna be in my i'm gonna be in my so troy comes to the door he's telling me well I, of course i let troy in because yeah but i was not letting baby boy in because like i said baby boy he started acting real funny i let troy in or whatever and i'm he basically telling me like he's mad and he's gonna beat jd up and i'm like why were y'all trying to beat on jd like y'all all like haters like i don't know what's up with y'all and they JD, but he ain't even do nothing. Like earlier, him and his friend was over here. They would, they didn't even do nothing. Like they had a couple smoke sessions and they left. So Troy, like, what you mean, his friend who? Who was friend? Who was friend? So I'm like, I don't know. It's some light skinned dude. I don't know. His name was Trevor or something like that. You know, making up the name, whatever. But his name Trevor or something like that. I don't really know. But they was over here and they left. Basically, Troy told me like, oh, so him and. JD and a light skin friend came over there to baby boy house and they stole the PS3. I, I guess it was PS3 at the time. Yeah, because I don't think it was PS4. So they had stole his PS3. They stole the game system, y'all. They stole the game system and the games. Okay? They took the wires and the remotes. They didn't leave nothing behind. Like, JD was on some, oh, he want to act funny towards me? He want to switch up on me? When I've been feeding him, when I've been doing this, when I've been doing that, he want to do all this towards me? So yeah, he took all that. Him and a friend took that. They stole that. Mind you, I did not know that. I did not know that. I didn't ask the way they was going. Like, I did not care. Like, me and JD was cool, but we wasn't that cool. Like, he talked to my cousin Joy. Like, it, we wasn't like, oh, um, where you going, bro? Like, are you coming back? What's on your backpack? Like, we wasn't like that. He's saying all of this. Oh, when he come over there, I'm going to beat him up this day and the third. Y'all, about three good days passed by. And JD, he winds up coming to my house right so jd comes over to the house and i'm telling him like everybody was looking for you they said that you stole liz you did that and he's like no i didn't take nothing i don't know what people talking about i don't know what people talking about and i'm like it, it just look kind of funny you know so he just come out he's like you know what yeah you know what i did take it i did take it i want to smoke a baby boy he tried to act funny you know my clothes were still over there he put me out he threw my clothes in the incinerator when he started hanging out with them now they feeding him but before when they wasn't feeding him i was there for him like, he's basically really mad at baby boy like yeah i did it to be funny so i'm just like but that was not baby boy's game system that was troy and all his friends game system so now they want smoke with you and i don't know if i could diffuse the smoke between you and my man when you done ran in and stole their stuff like of course yeah it was out of baby boy's house but you still ran up in the crib with your friend and stole their stuff you pick locked his crib and went in there it's not like you had the key because he changed the locks and everything so you really did some breaking and right like you really did some illegal stuff and then you put me in the middle because you didn't even tell me like you and your friend just came over here and y'all was we was doing smoke sessions and all that but i didn't know that y'all was really on some oh let's go do this let's go do that because i would have told y'all like nah don't don't do that like y'all messing with the wrong dudes like don't do that but yeah so he basically disclosed that that's what happened right everybody chilling or whatever y'all troy don't come to the house jd is at the house 
I am trying to stop a big commotion. I'm trying to tell him everybody chill. So I'm telling Troy and I'm like, listen, I understand he did what he did. He stole y'all stuff. He understand that. But at the same time, give my dude a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, give my friend a one-on-one. -on -one, okay? Don't jump him. Don't jump him. Do not jump him. Give him a good one-on-one -on -one session. The person PS3 it was, let him get it on. Or pick somebody out the team because there's too many of y'all and there's only one of JD. This fight is not going to go good. So, at this point, like I said, um, baby boy, he comes to the house. He's at the door being all rowdy. He's trying to push my door open. I'm telling him, like, you're bugging out. Troy telling him, like, chill. You know, I'm going to tell him to come outside see so I can get the one on or whatever but everybody is really mad at JD like everybody's mad at him they all want to jump him and I'm just begging him please like listen y'all bigger than him he was wrong I know y'all need to beat the brakes off him because he did steal y'all expensive stuff and y'all games and y'all wires and y'all controller he stole it all I understand all of that I get all of that but y'all gotta see where he coming from too he was staying in that crib before any of y'all and y'all done moved in there took over his whole sleeping arrangements where he was sleeping at in the little TV y'all done threw this man's stuff out shoes and all that and that like now he only, only got the stuff on his back so I would have sold it too. Not gonna lie. So, they basically trying to set up a one-on-one -on -one fight or whatever. So, at this point, I see a girl. And she's in Baby Boy house, right? So, while Baby Boy's at my house, he getting all rowdy. He doing all this. That's when I follow him back to his house. And I'm getting rowdy at his door. Like, you're tripping. It's me, all my cousins. It's Baby D. It's Firecrackers. All of us. I'm like, you're tripping. You over here trying to do the most. You trying to switch up in front of these people. Baby Boy, you acting mad funny. So, even my cousins is telling him, like, you acting mad funny funny you never act like this with jd like that's your right hand man's bro he fed you when you was down he held it down like you tripping baby boy just sitting there he talking his stuff i guess he's showing off for the girl or whatever we gonna call a girl we just gonna call the girl tay tay right baby boy he's sitting there and he's trying to he's still trying to get rowdy and he is trying to fight jd so they is trying to tell him like okay jd's gonna go downstairs calm down but you're not gonna keep going to her door you're not gonna drag him out the house you're not gonna do none of that like and, and of course troy wasn't having that anyway so he's like yo just calm down like it's crazy how both of the boys was with each other like oh my god like it's okay she's like my life is such a movie like oh my god but yeah i swear to god baby boy was so salty like he hated me he hated me so i guess he he called himself trying to flaunt little tay tay in my face and i didn't i didn't care about her at all like the girl was looking weird she had on a cars hat if y'all know cars y'all know the cartoon cars yeah she had on a cars hat and some glasses so i was ready was like yeah she's giving me weirdo vibes right we all go downstairs y'all everybody goes downstairs immediately baby boy and jd starts fighting but before they start fighting jd basically telling him listen i don't want to fight you i don't want to fight you so baby boy like i don't care about none of that i don't care about none of that they start getting it in so JD he fighting back JD fighting back but it got me tight because JD was smaller than all of them what got me tight is they all start jumping in and I'm like why is y'all jumping in when he's fighting him like let them just get the one on like why is y'all jumping in so I got tight and I jumped in like y'all tripping so now Troy he jumping in trying to get me to stop from getting in the guy's fight and I'm just like no that's not fair like they was friends first like this is this can't go on like oh my god I can't believe they fighting like this can't happen like we were just sitting at the table together all chilling just a few weeks ago and now everybody beefing with each other I did not like that and like I said JD was the littlest one I don't care if he stole some myself I don't care what I I mean, yeah, I do care. He did deserve it. But at the same time, y'all don't got to jump him, though. Beat him up one by one. All of y'all. Don't jump him. You know what I'm saying? So at the time of all of this, like, they all fighting or whatever. They jumping him, like I said. And I'm getting into this. And Troy trying to hold me back. And I'm not with that. So at the corner of my eye, I see Tay Tay, which is the girl that baby boy is with. So I straight run up on her. Like, what's up? Like, what's up with it? What's up with it? Like, I want to get it with her. Like, you tripping. Like, you, I'm not about to sit here and watch y'all jump him. But I can't get it in with the shorty. But y'all already know I low key want to get it in with the shorty anyway. Because, like, I chose Troy over him, but that don't mean that he can move on and get a new shorty. Like, what? So, I know I sound real delusional. I know, because I was back in the day, what? Like, charisma don't want you, but that don't mean you can move on. You still got to be drooling over her. You still got to, you know, like, it was really giving delusional on my end. So, I was low-key mad. Like, first of all, who told baby boy he could even move on? And this girl got a car's hat. She's giving me weirdo vibes. So, I run up on a girl on some, you know? 
I'm gonna be her up. Like, I'm gonna be her up. So, long story short, they didn't even let me fight the girl. The girl was a, like, she was shorter than me. Like, she was a little littler than me, if you know what I'm saying. Like, she wasn't thickums. Like, I was thickums. So, they was not really trying to let me get it in with the girl. And it was getting me tight because I'm like, y'all can sit here and y'all can all jump him, but I can't give his girl a good one-on-one like i can't give baby boy girl a good one-on-one -on -one, but y'all can sit here and try to um jump jd and he's mad little that happened or whatever y'all they beat the brakes off jd y'all jd start running off down the block i ain't never see jd again after that i don't know where jd went no i'm lying i did see jd after that because he bought that whole family to my house not a she did bro i don't know what was up with that family but they kept asking me for pampers and stuff you just picked up a girl from the shelter and bought her to my house like he was crazy y'all he was crazy that was the last time i see him but during this incident he had ran off or whatever that block so now i'm going crazy i'm still hitting on baby boy i'm tight as hell so we all going back in the building or whatever we plan on going back upstairs so i'm rowdy i'm still i'm at the back of his shorty neck like girl i will smack you i will do this i will do that i will do that so the girl she's giving me this weird little grin like i don't know what was up with this girl but she was just super weird like it was cringe and i'm telling y'all like we was teens not teens, like early teens, like I would say 19, 20. But why are you wearing a cartoon character car's hat? Like it was giving weird and she barely would speak. Like, I don't know what was up with the girl. I don't know what was up with the girl. We go back upstairs or whatever. So now it's me, baby, all of us. We tight. We go up to, up to baby boy door the same way he was going up to my door because he still was popping stuff. So I was like, I will beat your girl up right now. I will beat your girl up right now. I will beat your girl up right now. All right, so do it. So do it. So he go in the crib and he tell his girl, he like, get up off the couch get up off the couch y'all she is sitting on the couch smiling i look down this girl raised her arm y'all she had a big kitchen yes she had a big kitchen knife a big one and she was ready for the smoke she was like if any of y'all touch me i'm just telling y'all i'm going to jail if any of y'all touch me i'm going to jail I'm going to jail. So now I'm tight. I'm, we talking mad stuff to her. You're a fucking weirdo. Why you want to use weapons? You're weird. It's crazy because you're mean. And his friends want to jump my friend. I'm talking about my friend. When baby boy, the one who introduced me to him. I was really given delusional, y'all. I was really given delusional. Like, I'm like, yeah, y'all want to jump my friend. That's not right. But now I want to fight you. You want to pull out a big knife. You want to pull out a big knife. Never got to fight the girl that night because, you know, who's fighting against a knife? Not, not us, not us. We're not fighting against that. We're not fighting against that. That happened or whatever, y'all. Like a couple days passed by. Like I said, Troy he used to chill over there all the time. So it's something that had broke out with the girl, baby boy, and Tay Tay. They was over there arguing and stuff amongst each other, and he basically switched up on her too, just like he switched up on JD. And we told the girl that, like, he gonna switch up on you. I don't know why you sitting here with a car's hat, looking weird as hell, with a knife. Like you weird. Like you don't want, you don't want these hands. Like you don't want, to, you don't want the smoke. So that. Happened or whatever like i said they getting into it or whatever i go out to the hallway because you know i'm being nosy so i go over there because my man is over there so i have a reason to always go over there and be nosy and try to peek which i really didn't but so what who gonna tell me what like i said my man is over there baby i'm welcome i'm coming over here this is my this is me so we go over there or whatever and um baby boy is basically getting into with tay tay and he's basically telling her like you're a weirdo i don't know what you on you need to get out of my house right now so i didn't know what was going on or why he was doing any of that but long story short later on that night troy had explained it he was basically like the girl she was just too weird like she gave off weird vibes but mind you the girl had long hair but she would never want to take off the car's hat and basically baby boy was saying how she was just too immature for him and she was weird and she was stalking all his other girls because you know like they basically was dating like that wasn't his girlfriend so he had other shorties and remember the little script i told you about yeah mm. she got me so mad because she was just prance around with her big old butt and i'm like she got my man like she just got my man her butt is just like so big oh i used to get so mad oh i Mm. But yeah, Tay Tay was going around basically harassing all his females. She was all on the Facebooks, all on the Instagrams. She was going in. She was saying, oh yeah, this my man. My man taking pictures of him when he was asleep. And he basically just told her like, Tay Tay, you're weird. Get out of my house. I'm not with none of that. And she is not trying to leave the house. So Troy sitting here telling me, baby, D and all of us, oh, get out the house. Get out the house. So the other day when we wanted to be hot because y'all jumped D.A.D., it was like, no. 
y'all can't fight her y'all can't do none of this but now because baby boy want out the house now it's okay for us to drag her so i said no i'm not doing it i'm not doing it because he want me to do it i'm not doing it and then on top of that she was not trying to leave the house y'all so i go over there i peek in the house y'all she is standing in the kitchen with a big knife the same big knife that she had the other day, she's standing there with a big knife. She was like, if anybody touch me, I'm going to jail. I'm going to leave tonight, like, buddy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Like, everybody's telling her to leave. She's not trying to leave. If anybody touch me, I'm going to jail. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm going to leave when I'm buddy. I'm going to leave when I'm buddy. Baby boy just telling her the same shit. Like, get out. I'm finna call the cop to you. Get out. I'm finna call the cop to you. Uh, the girl, she calls 911 on her own self like she calls number one on her own self she said how baby boy is sitting here beating on her she need help please help like she started screaming crying in the phone like on some fake tears i was like something is really off with this girl like she's really weird and i'm happy i never got the chance to fight her even though i was trying to run down on her but when she kept pulling out them knives girl i just knew I i'm not finna fight a knife like, I'm not finna do that. I'm scared of lying. I'm scared. Of, that's my biggest fear for somebody to cut me. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. So, long so short, I mind my business and I go back over there. Baby D is still over there. So, Baby D trying to help them get her out the house. Like, girl, you need to get out. You need to get out. So, the girl, she talking mad stuff to Baby D. So, Baby D like, girl, I remember you. I remember you. I know exactly where you work. I know exactly where you work. Mind you, this particular day, my bestie Quay was over there. Rest in peace, Quay. But Quay was over there, and Quay had knew the girl because Quay had went to school with the girl. So Quay was telling me, like, yo, oh, I know, Tay Tay, that's crazy. She went to this school. Nobody was messing with her. Yo, she always be having a big kitchen knife in her bag. She don't be playing. Like, anytime it's time to fight, she don't be fighting. But she be talking hella stuff. She be talking hella stuff. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's crazy. So my bestie knew her. So I was like, I was like, she really crazy like that? Or she really gonna do something with her? She like, no, she's really. But then it's like nobody talks to her, bro. Like she keep wearing this car's hat to school. Nobody sit with her. Like she just mad weird. So I'm like, nah, she can't be that weird, bestie. Like I feel like y'all kind of dragging it on the girl. She can't be that. Like she can't be that stupid. Like I feel like she not gonna really use that knife. She not gonna like, go up to her if you want, bro. Go up to her if you want. She be smirking all type of shit. I'm just like, mm okay so that happened or whatever right so long story short the cops come or whatever they finally get the girl out the crib at the home baby d had wound up getting into it baby d just said i know where you work i know where you work that's all she kept saying so my bestie confirmed that she actually worked at the mcdonald's on 63rd if you not from 63rd we is not from 63rd so we was over like king von said we wasn't from 63rd so you know we was beefing with tay tay regardless because bitch i'm from 63rd at all mind you she worked at the mcdonald's over there the same mcdonald's that troy ex-girlfriend that got him caught up in the hospital and all that he cheated on me with her light skin yeah she worked at that mcdonald's too i don't get it with light skin for her to call everybody bums this i get more than you this i get this this she worked at McDonald's. Like I didn't I didn't really understand. I mean it's nothing wrong working at McDonald's at all. But for the person she oh I get this, I get that, oh I got a Montclair on. Baby, we got a Montclair on asking me what's my order. So pipe down. Pipe down. Pipe down, baby girl. Yeah. Anyway, we basically found out we they worked at the same damn job. Mind you, at this time, I'm still beefing with light skin. I'm still trying to get her head. I'm still trying to find her. I'm still trying to put her head on a swivel. I'm still at it with her. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sitting here like, yes, two birds with one stone. I got both of my ops. They work at the same job. Yeah. So, now, every night, we going down there because, yo, New York is so ghetto. When I tell you, they used to let us walk through the drive through Like, you know how you going through McDonald's and you got a car? We have no car. So, at night, when only the drive through was open, we could stand in the line like a car. Like, so we used to be between the lines, just standing in the car. We used to walk to the window, take our order, walk off, whatever, like that, right? So one night, we decided to go over there and start a little trouble, right? It's me, Baby D, it's Bestie Quay. I feel like Firecracker was over there. I'm not sure if she was with us, but I know it was an extra person with us. So we mob over there to the McDonald's or whatever. We don't tell Troy because he... 
every time we tell him like oh we finna go to mcdonald's he try to walk with us no you trying to walk with us because you want to protect your little light skin right that's what you want to do you want to protect her that's why both of y'all gonna get beat up like stop playing with me mind you this was after the hospital incident this was after the blue incident this was after all of that y'all forgave him for cheating with the girl we back together all this was after all of that right we goes over there so we standing in the line right so you can see in the window you can already see Tay Tay is there and light skin is there so we stayed in the window or whatever. So now it's our turn. So we walk up. Mind you, they don't really see us because obviously it's cars. Like, they looking for cars to come. So we walk up. And the first person we see is Tay Tay. So Baby D is on Tay Tay's side. So, y'all, I just see Baby D grab Tay Tay by her little McDonald's tie and pull her. Like, she starts trying to pull her through the drive through window. So, you see light skin on the other side pulling her back. Like, oh, they tripping. They tripping. Yo, come help us. Come help us. So now all the girls in McDonald's, mind you, the doors is locked. It's only drop through. So now all the girls in McDonald's, they start running up to the window. They trying to help Tay Tay. Like, baby D, she almost got Tay Tay out the window. So light skin and all her friends, they pulling Tay Tay back, pulling Tay Tay back. Baby D was like, yeah, you ain't got that knife now. You ain't got that knife now. Talk that big shit now. Talk that big shit now. So um, Tay Tay was like, get off of me. Get off of me. So light skin was like, oh, y'all some weak ass bitches. Just so. so I'm like, shut up, light skin, because you know I want your head. You know I want your head. So now I'm over there. I'm punching through the window because now I'm trying to punch light skin. So she like this, but she's still trying to pull Tay Tay through. Little poor old Tay Tay. We were just punching her all up in the head while they were trying to pull her back in. But I was really trying to get to light skin because I really want to smoke with her like baby. My man cheated with you. Like, what you got that I don't got? <laughs> how you be mad at the girl? Like, how you be mad at the girl? Like, I was really mad at the girl back then. Like, so all these billions of dudes out here, you want to mess with mine? All these corn chip feet snakes, and you want to come take mine? I was really hot at light skin. Like, when I say I was hot, like, I was super hot. So, I'm like, yes, yeah, so that we just punch it, we punch it or whatever. So, they finally get Tay Tay back in. So, they get Tay Tay back in, they slams the door, and they locks the door. So, now they at the window popping mad stuff. We at the window popping stuff. We trying to break the thing. We banging on the thing. Yo, that plastic shit was not breaking. Like, I don't know what was up with McDonald's, but that plastic shit was not breaking. So, we trying to go off on them. They yelling through the thing like, yeah, you pussy ass bitch. Yeah, y'all can't do this. Ah, you tight. Ah, you tight. So now light skin, she getting me tight. Ah, you tight. You tight. So Tay Tay, she's talking stuff. I don't even know, understand why Tay Tay was talking stuff. Because baby girl, you was getting beat all on top of your head. Like, you was getting dragged out the McDonald's window. Like, if light skin and her friends would never saved you, baby, you would have been bye bye goner. While all this was happening, yo, the... Cars in the drive through they honking, they liking this, y'all. They is loving this. One thing about New Yorkers, they love to see a fight, especially if you driving. If you driving and you see a fight, or if you parked right there, oh, baby, they gonna sit right there the whole time. They did not care about waiting for their food. They didn't care how long it took, as long as we was putting on the show, we was putting on the show. Y'all, so that happened or whatever, right? So, that day, like, everybody go home, but it was the night time. So, the next day or whatever, we get to on Facebook, y'all. We is just getting tagged in mad stuff. Like, mad paragraphs, mad stuff. Like, it's just mad notifications on Facebook. You know, somebody going in on you on Facebook, you gonna know. Because you gonna see, like, 49 notifications. Somebody comment on this post you was tagged in. So, y'all, I go to the Facebook post, y'all. Why is it Tay Tay, bro? Tay Tay is on there going in on me and Baby D. Like, she only cared about me and Baby D. Like, anybody else she really did not care for. So, she was going in on us like, Yeah, these big bitches gonna come to the McDonald's and they gonna do this and they gonna do that, but I been getting money and this, that, and the third. Baby D, she was arguing back with her. I guess I must have been asleep that day that time or whatever when it started but baby d she was sitting there arguing back with her like girl you wasn't on nothing but i pulled you through the window but you ain't do nothing but you ain't do nothing though but you ain't do nothing 
So they going back and forth, y'all. So Tay Tay, she starts getting mad and she starts low blowing. Like when I tell you she start going in on our kids, like girl, you don't even know our kids. What you see pictures of them on Facebook and they looking really, really cute, really, really fly. What do you know about kids? She just start going in on our kids, like, oh y'all kids is mad ugly. That's why y'all kids are retarded. This, that, and the third. That's why this, that's why that. So, you know, baby D, she's hot. She's tight right now, but she's like, oh, how you sitting here going off on the kid? How you doing this? How you doing that? And I'm just sitting here like, bro, when I tell you I was on... Oh, uh-uh. This bitch, you, you ain't have no energy when I was trying to fight you at baby boy house. You did not want to fight. You had a knife. You had a cause hat. You was not in there. Stop tagging me and having my friends I, When I tell you I'm going in, y'all, when I'm telling you I'm going in, that. I'm going to in on a Facebook. Like, because don't you dare tag me. And it's already 102 comments. And I'm not even in this. So before I even reply back, I got to read the 102 comments. And y'all both just going in. And everybody is joining. Now your family joining. Now my family joining. Now there's a big thing. And now life's getting on there. And now Troy on there. And now baby boy on there. And now the whole Bronx, New York is on this. And now they looking for a fight. And we sitting here trying to schedule a fight. Like, Tay Tay, we know you ain't going to fight. You just just gonna bring kitchen knives like you karate like you you i mean you just gonna bring kitchen knives you you really not gonna give us the smoke i don't even know why i allowed this girl to make me this mad because i knew she wasn't on nothing i knew she wasn't on nothing so that happened or whatever the beef kind of like died down like every time it was like an on-site thing anytime we seen Tay Tay it was on site for her like it was on site like I remember baby D had seen her on a bus smacked her up like baby anytime we seen Tay Tay from that point on it was on site like you bringing up kids that had nothing to do with this you doing all of this like she was being weird Right? So I decided to tell y'all this story time, y'all, because I know y'all heard about the girl in North Carolina and her baby father went missing and she set up the whole search party to find her baby daddy and all of that. And come to find out, he was in the woods and she was the one who had clipped them with the yeah. Y'all heard about that? Yeah. So, the reason why I told this story time, because people were telling me, oh, I need to tell an experience of what happened with the girl. So, you remember the girl, Tay Tay, the girl in the hat that was looking weird, the one in the car's hat, and she kept pulling out the kitchen knives. And then my friend kept telling me she was going to school with the knives, and she was talking about our kids, and she was just giving us weird vibes. And then baby boy had to call the cop. I mean, she called the cops of baby boy, and then he was trying to put her out the house, and she was being weird and stalking all his girlfriends and doing all of that. Yeah, yeah. So when she moved to North Carolina, I had moved to well, I had moved to South Carolina first. She had moved to North Carolina. So you know, all of that stuff happened. We was in our teens. We are grown as hell now. We grown as hell. So when she had moved to North Carolina, basically she had hit me up. She was just asking me stuff. Hey, do you know this? Do you know any resources for this? Where can I find this? Little stuff like that. It just called you. Little stuff like that. We would speak. Oh, hey, how's the kids? Oh, hey, is this? If I write a little post, a little messy post about my baby daddy Troy. She'll be like, oh yeah, cause she swore she was, um, she swore she was Troy's best friend or something like that. And Troy would be writing me like, yo, that girl is crazy. Like she trying to get with me. I don't know what's up with her. And I'm like, Troy, shut up, cause you know you don't slept with that girl. You probably don't slept with her before she left New York. And he gonna sit here and reply, talk about how you know. Cause I know you. You my baby daddy. You sleep with everybody. He was like, yeah, I slept with the girl, but she gave me weird vibes after that. Like she was so obsessed. She was trying to run off all my hoes. And I'm like, I told you. I told you something. Something. Something wasn't right with the girl. She had on a cause hat. She was smiling and with a knife. Like something was right with the girl. So we was talking or whatever. Like I said, her baby daddy had one missing, right? So we was talking. Because she had this whole search party and everything. And I hit her up and I'm like, oh, how's everything with the search party or whatever? Did you find him? And she's like, yeah, well, I spoke to him. He's all good. Everything's straight. Y'all, I think it was like a day later. The news came out and they had went and arrested her. She was the one who did it. 
She was the one who did it to her baby daddy. And then you gonna search, you gonna, you gonna put up a whole search party looking for this dude when you the one who done off this dude. You know what I'm saying? You had the whole family look for him everything. And it's crazy because I say all of this just to say, 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 I'm glad I didn't fight you when we was younger. I'm glad I fight you when we was younger because that knife, you were serious. You was dead serious, girl. Like, it's not a funny situation because she really did off that man. But at the same time, it's like, that would have been me. That would have been me. Had I beat you up, that would have been me. That really would have been me. Like, you really crazy like that. Like, you really off somebody and set up a, and set up a whole search party. And I don't, I don't give a about none of her family members or whoever coming on this so you don't even know the situation you don't even know my head. shut up shut up the situation is you know where he was at you knew he was going the whole time you set up a search party in the same exact location where you offed him okay we we like come on and then when i asked you was everything good you said you spoke to him he was already deceased he been was already deceased so i came up with all of this just to say Girl, you crazy. I mean, she in jail right now. Free to go, Tay Tay. Free to go. Free to go. Free to go. But, um, I don't know what happened in that situation. But all I do know is that, girl, you lied. And you made yourself look so bad. And, um, like I said, I'm glad I didn't fight you. And you talked all that stuff. And you were sitting there smirking with the knife. And I just I just can't get the image out of my head. Because it's like, oh, my God. And it's so crazy because I waited so long to tell the story time. Because even though she in jail, it's like I don't really know what happened. So I don't want her to get out. And then she see this. And then I'm only in the next state over. Because she in North Carolina and I'm in South Carolina. And I don't want her to come get me and get me in the kids. And then she got her. I don't want to be in the woods. Like, I don't want to be in none of the crazy stuff that you was in. I don't want to be in none of that. I don't want to be in none of that. And it's so crazy because after that, like, everybody was so shocked. Like, my baby father was hitting me up like, yo, you seen that Tay Tay on the news, bro? Yo, she bodied him, son. She bodied him and then help looked for him, son. Like, everybody was tight. Everybody was like, yo, like, it's crazy. And then everybody came out like, yo, she was crazy in school. She used to have the big kitchen knives. We all thought she was crazy. She used to wear these cartoon character hats. Not the regular one, like, the cars one. Like, bro, we knew. Short, we knew Shorty, short, Shorty wasn't all there. But to do that, and then you got kids with him? Nah, that that was kind of, it was looking kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was looking kind of crazy. But to each his own. Anyway, that's basically the end of the story time, y'all. If y'all like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow all of my social medias. And if not, baby, deuces. And watch out who you fight because they really grow up to be crazy, y'all. And I'm telling you, if we would have never really, you know, paid attention to her hand movements and what was in her hands, we don't know what could happen that night. Because if she did all this to a loved one, we could only imagine what she could have did to defend herself against females that wanted to fight her. Basically for no reason. Like if, if, if we if we gonna be if we gonna tell the truth, we gonna tell the truth. But yeah. So yeah, that's the end of the story time. Now it's time for me to edit. Cause what time is it? Cause like why y'all playing with me? It's one thirty eight AM, baby. It's time for me to edit. Time for me to edit. So yeah, y'all. I holla at y'all. I I